All right, what's up all you crypto miners and gamers out there? Uh, this is more of a crypto mining video, obviously, but I'm in my crypto mining base. I got all my rigs running. My grow tent is running. My wire rack rig's running. My 3D printer will be going any second now. <clears throat> my test bench and my other rig, my 580's on the floor there. I do have my uh, 3000 series GPUs down there, but today that's not what we want to focus on. We're actually not focusing on GPUs. And I got something to show you right above the tent. And there they are. I picked up two ASIC miners uh, the other day. I got them both running. The one on the left is an Antminer T9, and the one on the right is an Antminer S9. Both are mining Bitcoin, and both are powered by individual Bitmain power supplies. They're both 1600 watt power supplies. Now I don't have them running at 1600 watts, obviously. And both are set up to exhaust the heat right out the window as best as possible. Uh, so you can see they're tilted on from on top of the tent right to that fan back there. There's a fan in the window and it's tilted right at it. So they are going to pump the air right to that fan and out the window as best as possible. Uh, but before we get in and log into Hive OS and show you guys these, I'll break the news that that T9 does lose money on me daily on electrical, uh, with my electrical rate being in a residential home. But the S9 does make a little bit of profit every day. Uh, but now let's go into Hive OS. I'll show you guys the profile that I'm running on them and what they're hashing at, the power consumption and we'll do a profitability i'll do each separate and then we'll do a combine and show you what i am making so here's both ant miners in my hive os i did flash them the hive os the s9 had a lot of trouble with getting running but it's good now so let's focus on the t9 plus for right now so we'll go into this one i'll show you the profile i am running so i had all these to choose from it looked like this setting was probably the most efficient so I have it running at 700, it says 780 at 7.3 terahash, but when we go to the overview, it's running about a thousand watts, but it's also hashing at 9.2-ish terahash. So the profile is doing pretty decent. Uh, I could up it a little bit. Now, I don't know if it's because it doesn't have ASIC boost enabled or something, but We'll see, but right now it's maxed out on that PDU on where it's plugged in and what it can run power wise. Uh, I'd have to swap it and plug it into a different one, which I'm going to eventually. Um, but this is just the T9 Plus running. So the temperatures look pretty good. The odd thing is 2, 10, and 11. You'll see much lower. These were running really uh, hot the one day and actually crashing the rig. And you can see these running down really cold now. So I don't. there's definitely probably an error on the board. And this fan always runs 100%, but it's mining. It's working. I'm going to keep letting it go until it stops working. Uh, but let's go look at profitability on just this one. So 1,000 watts at 9.2 terahash. And I stand corrected from earlier in my video because this actually profit because it's on Bitcoin at 17 cents a day. Uh, last time I checked, Bitcoin was not up at 38K. It was at about 32K, and this was losing a little bit of money each day. But with Bitcoin going up in price even more, my rig is now profitable. Uh, I'm not going to sell the coin, obviously. Uh, plus, my minimum payout, I won't reach for a little while because I only have two ASICs, and they're not too good. But that's the T9 Plus right now at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now I do pay a little bit less than that, so that helps my profitability, but it is generating a $3.29 per day in revenue at 19 cents a day in profit. Now let's look at my S9. So this one, my overclock profile is pretty much spot on. 770 watts at 9.8 terahash if ASIC boost uh, is enabled with or eight. 80 watts if it's not so i'm sitting at 9.8 terahash right where it says temps are okay looks like i have one that's in the 81s but for an asic miner that's okay but i'm sitting at roughly 800 watts like on the dot now this one i could turn up because of where it's plugged in and i could 
I could jack this thing up to pro like pretty much any of these and run 14, 15 Terra Hash if I wanted. Um, but right now I'm just going to leave it at the 9.8 Terra Hash. But let's look at the profitability on this one. So at 9,800 uh, Giga Hash, that's 9.8 Terra Hash at 800 watts at 13 cents a kilowatt hour like before. This one's making a dollar a day on the nose profit according to this calculator. 350 a day revenue. So they're both making similar in revenue, but profitability obviously is a little less. Now, if I were to put it on nice hash down here, I would be getting 84 cents a day and payouts would be a little bit quicker since nice hash pays you multiple times a day in that balance. So I would get money a lot quicker that I could cash out. Whereas mining Bitcoin on a pool I have a minimum payout I have to reach and to get that payout it's going to take me almost two weeks to get to it but the payout will also be a couple hundred dollars like a 300 and some dollar payout um, but you know I plan on just keep mining on the pool because I'm going to be holding this coin for a little while so I'm going to just keep mining on a pool and making the most revenue that I can now let's look at both of them put together so we're looking at 1800 watts at let's look up here like 19 18.9 tera hash so i have 18.9 tera hash at 1800 watts 13 cents per kilowatt hour and i'm making roughly a dollar 13 a day profit now my s9 is obviously more profitable and i knew that going in but i got them both in a package deal so I just bought them both because normally an S9 would range anywhere from 350 to 400 just for the one miner uh, or the one ant miner with a power supply. And that's an eBay price that I, I was researching. And a guy in my Discord hooked me up with a deal for both of them. Um, so, you know, Roundcat, thank you very much for that. He hooked me up with both of them for almost the price of just one S9. And he's been great along the way helping me set them up and, you know, talk me through any issues that I had. But a dollar thirteen a day profit. My first two ant miners uh, probably not going to be my last ones. I do like the A6 of setting them up was fairly simple. Uh, once I got figured it all out, got up and running, I could set one up much quicker, get it on the pool, and get it mining. So I plan on getting a few more. Uh, I was looking at getting a couple more S9s uh, to run just the same profile. But I'm waiting to see if I can get it. And I do have multiple power supplies on the way. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, I'd like to see anyone else that's running these, what profiles you're running. If you're on HiveOS or if you're just using the Ant Miner firmware, uh, you know, what you're mining. Is anyone mining uh, Bitcoin Cash instead of Bitcoin? Or I saw this Litecoin Cash, and that's, that was actually yesterday more profitable than Bitcoin. But Bitcoin went back up in price. Uh, or if anyone's just using them on nice hash and letting them mine on that uh, i know i could set up a nice hash profile on hive os and mine on nice hash and just get paid out more frequently but i'll take the higher payout so you know thanks for this video out make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more